my chat. <laughs> what? No, shut up. Okay, hi chat. I was unaware I was streaming until about 20 minutes ago. Hello. Thank you, Emrys, for the five months. Yippee! Yes, I have uh, watered and um, yes, I have hydrated. Anyway, Emrys. Emrys, can I not be heard in Discord? Damn. Emrys. No, you cannot be heard until you unmute. I was uh, unmuted. So I cannot oh. hear you currently if you're talking. I am unmuted. Hold on. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. I should open my chat on my phone because that would be smart. Yippee. Okay, 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 okay. Do we get into game then? Yeah. We should consider it part of mod duties if you want reminders in the future to try and stream more. <laughs> okay, look, this time it's because why Aether? This time it's because I've just not had the motivation. Like I was like I should stream, but I really didn't feel like it. Um Yeah, you did. So, Brain was just like, uh, nah, nah. I do not want Tar enabled right now. I have not played this yet. Feral. I'm gonna disable those. Yippee. But, um, it was more of a motivation thing and the fact that I just didn't really want to stream EOD this season. Like, I've enjoyed EOD this season, but, like, my team's been a bit wah. Hold on, my dog wants into my room. Come on, doctors. Lay down. I love you, but go lay down. I do not want to read this. Hi, I'm back. I'm not reading this. You can't make me. I can't read through my avatar. Fair. I'm not reading it. I'm just skipping it. There's a likelihood a likelihood I fall asleep to stream. That's so fair. Why do I hear yippies? <laughs> Why yippee? Slime yippies. Okay. Anyway, Amaris, how are you? I'm fine. Started my last class of the summer. We got about two and a half weeks left. And then we're out of school. Have an unknown amount of time until I start externship because my official start date is not yet. That's good. Good. And then I'll have a paying job and can be more functional. And then we can start getting more game maps. Yippee! So I'm gonna go commission people to draw maps. Okay. Looks like the game is running pretty well. Well, oopsies. I just bought a place not realizing these slimes already technically had a place. Oh, I can- I can move them. Come here. not eat chicken. Okay. I think when 
I saw this game before, it had like a bar on the side that showed where food goes in and what food is. What's the little panel button on the corner? I hit the wrong button. It might because it be because it's a child. Yeah, it's because it's a child. I don't want the guy, just I wanted money. I know technically how to play, but I had never played it on keyboard before, so. Yeah. We started our last class of the summer. So we made mashed potatoes and roast potatoes. Then we did a basic brown stock and a white chicken stock. So what I'm hearing is I'm coming over and eating your food. Me, when I get so into Slime Ranchers, I used to have this on my Xbox. Um, I get so into it, I forget that I'm streaming. <laughs> I forget I have people to talk to. Yeah. Funny. Sorry, I got excited. Theoretically. Funny. Here. Sorry, I, I am listening. <laughs> Theoretically, if we ever wind up living close enough together. We could do, like, sub-goal cooking streams. Yes! We could cost out the sub-goal to be the price of ingredients. <laughs> baking stream. Do all sorts of baking and some general cooking. Or, much more expensive end of things, ice carving. No. <laughs> I'd rather not on this. I'm fitted in the school's ice carving club. However, 300 pound blocks of ice are expensive. Yeah, I would assume. <laughs> slash lighthearted. Do's not open this bag. Don't do easy, watch the catch. Ha ha ha. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. This is this is such a fucking Amity song, and I know you don't understand that, but you you don't understand how much my brain goes burr when I hear this, and then I go Amity. Friends, so, how my, so how was my so how was my loose read of Icarus based on assorted information? Most most of that was actually perfect. Not all of it, of course. You have no idea what the fuck he, like, stands for and everything. But most of it was actually just perfect. My tab for the mods to be catching up is in the middle of 18 of 123. And then it's just random bits of information we've heard here and there from calls with you made from Pam. <laughs> We're missing the majority of the information. <laughs> and a lot of the information we have is not in the correct order. Yeah, probably not. I can't wait to make some new memories. Cause... Anyway, chat, how are you guys? I am kind of eepy, but this was more important.
yes, yes. <laughs> Juno's playlist is a vibe. Chat, my character for D and D campaign, Juno. Her playlist is a mix of um, me, Emrys, and Mage of Embers read on her. And it is like, I go ah bah, bah and I kick my feet so hard at this little girl I've created. Hi walls, I need the hi walls! Now fuck you, you can't get out. Sorry. Actually not sorry. <gasps> I am broke. I am poor. Time to go get more food for these fuckers. Uh, we'll be right back. I'm on the phone. Okay. Okay, chat. We are looking for food for these gremlins. Oh, by the way, we are in a VC of- it's, it's just a fucking D&D &D campaign. The one Juno comes from, actually. And it, it- the people here are a vibe, but I'm not sure if any of them are actually gonna join call. Because the party themselves and a few other people can see the call. So I'm not sure if anyone's actually going to join or not. I don't need another bunny. You come here. Chimpkin. Stop eating, never mind. Oh, that poor guy, he just went so far, all he did was try to nom. Where did you go? No, you weak! I killed him. Oopsies. He's a death slime. Give me all the monies. <gasps> Come here, tiny guys. Okay, boom. You're all mine. You're mine. Mine. And then I need so much food. That's not food. But here is food. Because literally all I'm trying to do is get food for these guys. That's just water. I, I will stretch and hydrate in a second. I don't know how to get home, actually. I've gotten lost. You may have decided to write more threat- more letters to Crow that include ominous threats Oh to no! To Juno! Guys, me with my girl Juno, actually. She is amazing, and I would sell my soul if it meant keeping her safe. And I feel like with this DM, I might actually have to sell my soul. I don't need to sell your soul. There are plenty of other souls around you can steal. 
I need to steal someone else's soul and sell it. Anyway, I have stretched, and now it's time for dehydrate, as I fail to get home, because I don't know how to get home. <laughs> the captain is very familiar with it's much easier to manipulate Crow by threatening Juno than by threatening Crow. Yeah, no, Crow's just like, and what the fuck are you gonna do about it? And then they go, Juno, and then Crow goes, wait, actually, no. <laughs> but you're gonna make me cry, DM. You're using my girls against me. As we've said from the beginning, we are not a licensed therapist, and this is not a recommended form of therapy. <laughs> yeah, I, I also do not recommend this as therapy. It will get very sad very quick. That doesn't mean it can't be a part of your healing journey. I mean, with how much of my trauma you put into Juno. I didn't know I was doing that. No, I'm just like, oh, that's just more of my trauma. All right, let's do it. And you're like, oh, and I'm like, let's do it. Tell me so I say. Mm -hmm. Wait, why am I feeding you guys carrots? Actually, stop. Stop what you're doing. You guys were supposed to- Fuck you. Why? Yes, they are. Might be time to buy higher walls. I don't have the money for higher walls at the moment. You sell the slime themselves. <laughs> sell the slime themselves, no. Why not? There's some I may have done that on purpose. Do they have an average lifespan? Like, do they die? No, they don't die from what I've seen. Why do you have so many? Because the more you have, the more money you get. I'm gonna buy higher walls in a minute. I just need to sell their what's pretty much their shit. <laughs> tell me so I say. Tell me so I say. Now stop being little shits and stay in your enclosure. <laughs> Stay in your goddamn enclosure. You got it? I had to get the bunnies higher walls first. And I need to buy a new place that doesn't, um, that do doesn't do, um, sunlight. Only ten of you get to eat. Have fun choosing which ten. Captain behavior. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> You're not wrong, but also, I am not a just roller, and I feel like you should have known this. You're gonna look at me and be like, yes, that's- that's gonna be a fair roller of slimes. At least y'all haven't murdered everyone yet. Keyword yet. Murdering people- Murdering people is a bad idea, especially in a town. Rooster. I wanna murder people. But also, it's it literally- it's literally day one. We've had one session. You you expect us to murder someone day one? This happened before. Oh. 
for the first time I tried to DM a campaign. One of the dude's characters, which is like, I'm a mercenary, and I, but like, why, their reason for why they're in the town at the moment is that they are looking for someone for a bounty. Uh, like, part of the description of the town as they were walking around looking for this bounty is there's a, like, old guy in robes. Which, Fairly old and not able to move around as well. And seven golden birds around him. Which, for those unfamiliar with D&D, is the common human form of the deity Bahamut. They tried to fucking murder a deity? Uh, no. But they did try to murder someone that had a bounty who is currently receiving medical attention in the church of that deity. While the deity was present in front of the church. What the fuck? Sounds so like something very we do, honestly. The is kind of thing. You can't- I, I can't say that doesn't sound like something me and Iggs would do, honestly. Me and Iggs would. Me and Eggs would. That's all I can say is me and Eggs would. They are actively receiving medical attention in a church with the avatar of the god the church worships in front of the building. It's not a good idea to break in and murder them. Me and Eggs would do that. You've met Eggs. Me and Eggs would do that. I feel like our other characters, Vesper and Ferb, have done that. That just- that sounds like something mean Iggs would shake hands on doing. Everything, everything you touch turns to go. Stop trying to jump out and eat. I look forward to whenever y'all meet Arashi's family. I look forward to things in the future that I'm not going to say because I'm on stream and the others have access to my stream especially mage <laughs> and pan what's pan no stuff about my backstory I don't even know stuff about my backstory you know the loose information we're not going into detail about it but you were given more information than you would know. I was giving information because I don't do good with other people being like, yes, this is what I'm gonna do with your character. Which, thank you for that, by the way. That helped a lot. <laughs> you want detailed information? Your no. Character would not. No, I. It's good. I got what I needed to calm my nerves. I good. <laughs> I'm now rich, yippee. I needed someone to talk to about the things as they were flooding my head, so I wound up <laughs> spilling a little bit to pan. <laughs> uh huh. I then also established a character trait for Pan that 
functions as a way that they can start trying to learn about the information in character. Mm hmm So that as a gem dragon, they're able to talk to gemstones. And sends stuff from gemstones to vibes. I love our D and D guys. I love this group. I love them so bad. So like whenever Crow gets to level nine, Crow will start start having nightmares. That's the wrong food. I only have that food at the moment. They eat it? Yeah, they eat anything. The pink ones eat anything. Uh, it's just the rabbits only eat vegetables, and carrots are the only vegetables I have at the moment. Ah. But the pink ones were right here, so they got to eat, and the bunnies don't get to eat yet. have a couple different ways for backstory information to come into effect for us to start quest lines based on it. We have the letters that you and Crow receive. You have various bits of stuff here and there. Uh, yeah? Whatever we reach, whatever Crow reaches ninth level of Blood Hunter. She'll start having nightmares about stuff. Based on articles of clothing that she currently told... possesses. Yeah? Yeah. Does that have to do with the things that I know? Partially. I love how chat's just getting our D&D &D rambles because neither of us can think of anything else at the moment because we're both just like, mm, D&D. &D. I, I don't think I put that line in this letter that I was writing. You really just have my address to send me letters and I love it. <laughs> Chicken. I don't have as many ideas for letters for Juno as I do for Crow. Fair. So Though these lines aren't necessarily perfectly formed into a letter, some of them are just fun letters to hurt people that I need to find a way to fit into a letter later. Mm hmm. That's fair. Oh, I don't care about the lab. Can I just raise slimes and be a bad roller, please? Because that's what I wish to do with my life. I wish to be a tyrant. That is such a sentence, actually. I've just realized how bad of a sentence that is. I wish to be a tyrant. <laughs> I wish to be a bad ruler. I wish to be a tyrant. Do you want to hear the one letter? Yes. But, remember, people can see my streams. Eh. I guess a letter will get later, eventually. Okay. Once I figure out the rest of the context of the letter to put it into. <laughs> it's definitely ominous and vaguely threatening. But also not enough information to properly determine what's going on. Mm -hmm. What a lovely jacket. Such a beautiful color. Matches your skin nicely. Sorry, I love that. I yeah, ba ba ba, because I I have details. Chat doesn't. Chat shall never know the horrors you've sent us into. Y'all asked for them. I know. We love the horrors. Plan was upset that uh, my ocean game, where I cleaned the ocean and am just a little guy, didn't have horrors. At some point we need 
have a more detailed discussion about what sort of ocean horrors are good and what sort of ocean horrors are not. Yeah. <laughs> for boundaries. Yeah, a lot of the ocean horror stuff was me, cause in your mana. Horrors are good, I just- it sounded like I said whores, I said horrors. Um, I just go ba 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 slash neg with some things, you know? Aha! Because as far as the quest line goes, the so... You might have some idea about it. No. Pro probably knows at least a bit about it, though not mm -hmm. how it ties into any quest line. But general information wise, there are three major cities under the water. Mm -hmm. And each one of them has something that they protect called a heart pearl of the ocean. Mm -hmm. So there's the city of Leviathan, which guards the heart pearl of creatures. Mm -hmm. There's the city Eluatsa, which guards the heart pearl of the well. Then there is uh, Atlantis, that guards the heart pearl of the ancients. Me and Atlantis, actually. Atlantis is north of the ice belt. Eluatsa is under the ice belt. And Leviathan is south of the ice belt, where we currently are. And Leviathan is also the city that Crow came from originally. You and Crow. For no reason in particular. Crow's family is from Gelo or from Leviathan. Her mother is one of the city guards, and her sister has recently been appointed as one of the uh, Tide Callers. The Tide Caller Priest is a position that mainly helps with record keeping for the Heart Pearls. Mm -hmm. And keeping track of their legacy and history. Mm -hmm. Heart Pearl of Leviathan helps hold the power of control over sea creatures. Ooh. There's also a lot more large deep sea creatures around the city of Leviathan that they work with regularly. Chimpkin. So whenever we go visit home for quests and stuff, there's going to be large deep sea creatures, and we're gonna need to figure out what character traits they can have and what character traits they cannot. That's fair. We are not okay. playing together, we're just chatting together in a Discord call. I don't know if this is a multiplayer game. Uh, no, Slime Ranger, this is not a multiplayer game. Also, hi Raven! I'm just playing a little bit of Slime Ranchers because Emerus was like, hey, do you want to play Stardew? Basically to get me to stream, and I didn't realize that. Um, <laughs> and then I wasn't, like, I wasn't braining Stardew, and Stardew didn't want to work anyway. So Emerus was just like, okay, well, you just got a new game. Go play your new game, since you're really excited about your new game. And I was like, my new game! Because for some reason, Emerus apparently is just really good at making me do things that I'm supposed to do. Did you give me anything actually useful? Maybe? Sorry, I just got, like, thrown. Water. Yeah, I just was not expecting that. Well, then, okay. Because we know how to ask things without triggering the demand avoidance. Mm -mm. 
Miss Gordo let you open a new island if you go with the water up. Wait, really? I went to, I went to up. Is it this? The concrete. Well, fuck. That's a lot of points. I've done nothing. Yippee. I still don't know how to get home, though, so... Well, that's not ominous. Yippee! I will need to remember how to get over here. Um, ba -ba 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 get out of my face! Actually, no, come here! No, that's not what I'm meaning to do. Give me my fucking carrots. Come here. Fuck you. Fuck you. And fuck you. Like I'm on the keyboard and you will know. And we eat the slimes. I mean, technically you can if you wanted to. I don't think they'd taste good. I need to figure out slimes for the world. Slimes! Traditional D&D has its own versions of slimes. But mm -hmm. I have seen so much better versions of slimes in animes. Mm-hmm. I'm um, like, I gotta figure out how to put no. I have actually gone the wrong way. Because I'm so good at what I do. I like the idea of slimes being able to infinitely evolve into having pretty much any attribute, depending on what they eat. Mm-hmm. That's right, I really yeah. like, I really like slimes. Slimes are just little blurbos. Which way? Okay, yeah, this way. You could try to find a slime for your familiar and just do a summoning pact instead of casting find familiar to conjure a little spirit cat. Okay, but I want a cat. <laughs> but what if we make cat slime? A cat slime? Can it be a black cat slime? We can try to find a way to make it work. Okay, but also, but have you seen the cat I sent you that I won in Yumi <laughs> But bye, Raven. Have you seen my Blorbo? Because I, I, I looked for a good, like, three days to find that because it's really funny. I wanted to ask you if I could have a familiar a long time ago, but then I didn't because I was like, okay, but what if Emrys says no? And then I just asked them like uh, but then you went yeah you can have a familiar and i went ar, 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 ar. very little in any of our character creation processes have i said no yeah i I've know only, i think Iggs is the only character i wound up saying no to some of his ideas for his backstory that's fair yeah you said no zero times to me but also, yeah, blah, blah. sometimes brain goes burns, like what if, what if, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I, I knew you wouldn't say no, but brain said you'd say no, which doesn't make sense because I know you and I know you wouldn't say no. Yeah, that's not something I was raised to be able to do effectively. <laughs> well, damn, I wasn't expecting that. And it is literally just a cat, so I I don't know why Brain said, ah, no, Emrys won't give you a cat. And I'm like, oh, but what if they do? And my brain went, you're not allowed to have a cat. Stop asking. And I was like, oh, okay, Brain, you get what you want. <laughs> but, yeah. Things we had to find some different workarounds for some of the ideas they wanted to do for the backstory because a mm -hmm. you're a level three character yeah the amount of power you have is that of a level three character yeah eggs has ideas and some of them are a little bit scary honestly and b some of the organizations he wanted to try to create already exist. 
Oh, shit. Do you guys get to eat today? Probably not. I probably should let you eat today. I am a just roller. Mm-hmm. The rabbits are probably worth more, I would think. I don't know. Yeah, they are. What do the birds eat? Uh, they're fireflies. They, uh, eat fruit. Which is why I need to get a fruit thing going, because they've been in my vacuum for so long that they're starving. Okay, there's no fruit over here. I think that's they're going. One final breath, but they won't see me drown. Happy to see that the D and D world is finally functioning. Literally, all you had to do was get me to make a sub goal, and suddenly you have your D and D world. I had so many other things to do before I was ready to start playing things in it. Because governments were not established. The economy is still not established. Oopsies. So I have all of you asking me, like, how much money you should I start with? I'm like, I don't care how much seems reasonable to you. I haven't I mean, figured out what the economy is yet, or how it works. Yeah, no, you... Can I tell chat some of... What, what no, of... whatever. One of the, um, money things were called George. And another is called, called George. <laughs> and another is called Buckaroo, and we've all collectively decided that if Emmers takes our Buckaroos, we will just all quit. Buckaroos are copper coins. They're the lowest form of currency. <laughs> I don't care. It's the silk best. Anyway, stretchies, and I've hydrated. But luckily, once y'all saw that I was terrible at naming. Then y'all finally decided to actually give me names. Y'all, you mean everyone else? I did nothing. Yeah, I, tr I tried asking for names for currencies a couple times with no response. And then I'm like, here's the names we currently have. And y'all are like, milk cannot be a form of currency, <laughs> despite if it's actually a gold coin. Don't name it milk. We can have better names than that. Yeah. <laughs> the Blorbos did not want to give you answers until they saw that yours were just not good. And I'm not good at naming things either, so I was like, ah, they can do it. Because you would have had something worse than milk, honestly. Make milk one of the crewmates. Do it. This is yeah, a threat. We like, yeah, we got 120 crew members to write up. We can make milk one of them. <laughs> Don't tell Mage. Don't tell Mage I encouraged it, at least. Mage does not need to know I'm encouraging you. I don't care if you're hungry, you don't get to eat, actually. And this food's for the captive slimes. Mm hmm. Who also don't usually get to eat. Well, I'm such a just ruler of this land. I am what every slime wishes they had. For making milk the captain of your secondary ship. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. I approve this message. Milk has been given a position of authority. Which means once I develop some more details, I will need to inform Pro and Pro would know milk. Pro would know milk. But that's such a sentence. 
pro with no milk. I that was not on my 2024 bingo list. Stop getting out of your enclosure. It's illegal. Stop it. No, stop it. Stop yipping. You owe nothing. You own nothing. You are just little slimes. If you yippy at me one more time, I swear to God, I'm such a just roller, everyone. You, you should vote me for president. <laughs> If I was in charge of anything, I feel like the country would go to shit, honestly. Not on purpose. It's like more more shit than it already has. Are you out of your enclosure? Any slime that gets out of its enclosure is just going fucking off the side of the island. This is about to be the rule. Why did you choose to be a bard? Um, I've played a bard before. It's one of the two things I've played before. Um, and I enjoyed it a lot in the other one. And I don't know much about D&D. So brain went go with what you've done before and you know you like. Um, at least for this, because you want to like this. Because I feel like if I went with something like that I didn't already know I liked, I would have had a time and not had as good of a time. If you understand. Yeah. I might try to persuade you to multi class later. The Juno feels like a warlock. I have no idea what the fuck a warlock is, so. Okay. Uh, well, another casting class. Uh, the premise being that you get your powers from some manner of higher being that you make a contract with. Fair. I'm not sure how much I'd like it, but I can always try. Okay. These slimes better not start fucking unionizing. I have a couple different paths that can probably suit you, know, depending on how we become a warlock. I don't know, man. <laughs> don't ask me. Ask you. Man. Part of that is very future plans, depending on how things work out. Mm -hmm. It's too late to like go back and edit those in. Mm -hmm. but we could add things in the future. Mm-hmm. I realized that one of the books I have, that I don't that would have worked for me in the beyond, has a warlock subclass mm -hmm. that would work very well for the captain giving you trauma. <laughs> trauma! That is such a sentence. Yippee trauma. We also have normal warlock subclasses that work. We can do a pack of the fathomless. Is a ancient deity of the ocean normally that you get your powers from? Yippee! However, rather than an actual deity, it could be that like if y'all go back to Leviathan with Crow and talk to the family. Esmeray, I can't breathe underwater though. By the time we go there, there's 
many magic items and things that will help you breathe underwater. You will okay, be good. able to breathe underwater by the time we visit. <laughs> so she won't drown again? Yippee! Uh, Thank you I for the follow. Get... What? I tried to give you the ability to swim. You didn't want it. I know. Because it wouldn't make sense if she had the ability to swim. Because her backstory, Crow saves her from fucking drowning. During a storm. Yeah, the but still. Being able to swim and being able to swim in stormy waters are very different things. Oh, well, fuck you, slash lighthearted. <laughs> It takes much more effort to be able to swim during a giant storm in the middle of the ocean <laughs> than it does to just be able to swim in general. Swimming is too much effort. Not that much effort if you're fat enough. It's fat floats. I can assure you, even... I, I am very much plus sized and um i still almost drowned so mm. <laughs> it was not a fun fun day <laughs> it is as if you're fat enough i was not expecting that I'm gonna be real that's what that's always how I was raised. <laughs> I just was not you know, expecting I that. I think my dad always told me when we were talking about swimming and learning how to swim his uh, floats. I mean, technically, yeah, that's not wrong. But also, technically, it is. It's. People, I, I've heard that people, like heavier people, have an easier time, like, floating on their back, but they can't just float with no effort. Yeah. I wish. That would have made cool. the other day a lot easier. It's also why, like, extrication, so getting people out of the water in situations where they're drowning or in the past danger or whatnot, normal. Normally, it's more so if they're already unconscious, because they have a lifeguard. But when we have to put someone on a board and pull them out of the water, it's really easy to move around an unconscious body in the water. It's because the body will tend to float naturally. Mm -hmm. Once you get them out of the water, the water is no longer supporting that weight, and it's much heavier. That's fair. My mom's also a certified lifeguard. Uh, well, my mom. Depending on what gym class you take. My mom took a specific class for it. I think it was to get out of the normal gym class. I can't remember. I am now rich. There's a broken Christmas lights my touch. It's black and poisonous. And nothing like my time. Drink and watch a glide. Okay. One day I hope to have the out here be completely farms and then like the other place. Oh, my Discord broke. Discord, Discord. Hello? Yeah, you were in the middle of a sentence about how your mom got her lifeguard certification and then disappeared from call. 
Uh, I think it was to uh, skip normal um, gym. Same with me. One of our PG credit options was a blood credit class. Mm -hmm. Certified through Red Cross. But I think I think I want like the main part of my little area to be um mostly fruit and like vegetables growing. And then when I like get the outside things that's that's where I'm going to put slimes. How many different food sources are there for the slimes? Uh many. Like, I have chickens growing... Growing? I think you know what I meant to say. Um, I have carrots and fruit, but there's many different food sources. I don't care that you're hungry, you break out, you get thrown off the island, I told you that. You too. I asked what I was thinking about. So yeah, one of the warlock packs is called Pack of the Fathomless. It's normally some sort of ancient, like, sea deity type creature. Mm -hmm. But we could work it out that, like, whenever you guys wind up visiting Crow's hometown, her sister is one of the tied color princes. So she works with the heart pearl category, mostly in, like, record keeping. Mm -hmm. But you could try to make a warlock pack with the heart pearl as the power source. Oh, yippee. That sounds like fun. Like, warlocks are being half. I think. I'm not sure if they're. Technically considered half cast or full caster. Because the way their spells work normally is very different than the way a spell work for other classes. Mm hmm. However, I want the hen, but I don't want that. That will be different for our world. Or mm -hmm. we could try and roll. I don't necessarily know all the mom classic ones that D and D Beyond would force us to use. Yeah, I don't. I don't know almost anything. So, but the warlock features have uh, what is it? I think it's the packed boons that are able to do stuff with familiars. I love the familiars. Get can give your familiars additional abilities. Ooh, yippee! Wizards and warlocks are the most common classes to see people with familiars. Many of them could them want them to. I just want my little... my, my little guy. That's what I want. I want my cat. Yeah. So, Pack to the Fathomless is probably what I would recommend. And we can do that with a nice peaceful option. And the other option for trauma is experimentation from the captain. But we have one of our books it has a different pact called Pack to the Parasite. Mm -hmm. Which is basically like Venom from Spider-Man type Parasite. Yeah. So we could have it that like you get kidnapped by the captain and he gives you a parasite. Yes, actually. And then you become a warlock. <laughs> or the... So those are currently our two easiest options for how you would become a warlock. I like getting kidnapped. That is such a sentence. It can be a rain. The sentence, I like getting kidnapped. 
was also not on my 2024 bingo card. Eh, it's not the first time I've heard it. Not necessarily from you. Fair. There's plenty of people who have asked to be kidnapped. It's weird. But it still was not on my bingo card. You know, at this point, I don't think anything that's gonna happen has ever been on my bingo card. I don't have the bingo card, so... <laughs> How do I get home? I'm going the wrong way. Is that the right way? Okay, this is the right way. Excuse me, how the fuck have I gotten here? Where the fuck did I go for this? My sense of direction is literally non-existent. Is there a way to upgrade your inventory slots? Uh, probably not that I've found, though. It's probably in the lab. I just ate all of my passion fruit. So do different fruits produce different quality gems afterwards, or...? No. Um, it's just only thing- some things will eat only some things. And it's just you have to figure out what they will eat, because some things will only eat these fruits, some things will only eat those fruits. Some things will only eat this, some things will only eat that. It's- slimes can be very picky. Did you watch much anime? Uh, not anymore. What are the likelihoods of you watching anime if we sent you recommendations? You'd probably have to sit me down in DC and watch it with me. But I don't- I have a feeling you wouldn't mind that. I would not. You might. <laughs> Excuse me? I would 100% binge 8 hours of an anime. I don't have 8 hours <laughs> ever. I know. So I normally just go from one episode to another. Mm -hmm. Each episode is slightly more than 20 minutes. But, like, is. 
There's about like 21, 22 one way skip opening closing credits. Mm hmm. Which is what I do anyway. Who actually watches credits? Like, chat, do any of you actually watch credits? I watch the theme song occasionally. Yeah, like if it's a bussin' theme song, I get that, but like, sitting through all of the credits. In some shows, the credits just roll on top of the show. Mm hmm. Which is that they the have only the show. time I'll do that. Or they'll have the show continue on in the background normally, but not talking at the moment, just like montage of them walking or something while the credits go, and things are actually happening. Mm hmm. Season two or three that had come out for season two. Yeah. So two 12 episode seasons. 12 episodes is slightly more than four hours, so like four, four and a half ish. We would round up two if we just binge straight through it. But mm -hmm. we have two 12 episode seasons, which is that bad. Mm -hmm. Typical Izakai, so it gets reincarnated into a fantasy world. Well, living with a bunch of magic slabs. Oh, I started watching that. By like the, the clean, like the cleaning slimes and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on. I, I think I'm on season three. Well, there's only two seasons. Oh. Well, I. Hold on. Let me open. Because I know I've watched a good, like, hundred episodes of something like that, unless if I'm just being stupid. But I know I've started watching it, I just have to fucking... There are in total 24 episodes. Excuse me? How long are those episodes? I forget my mother's email, hold on. Is there normal length, like, 20 minute episode? I've watched so much that it felt a lot longer. Excuse me? I'm now so confused because I swear I've watched a lot more than 20 some episodes. Are you thinking of when he got reincarnated as a slime? No. Hold on, where's my continue watching? Hulu, come here. Was it not on Hulu? What is it called again? By the grace of the gods. Yeah, that! Season 2... Oh yeah, I finished it. Yeah. Hold on, where's your Discord? That's why it felt so long, but I also did that over a few months. Yeah, I've watched for it all. Yeah, me too. It's a good anime. It's I've like... watched through it all probably like six times. I just like slimes, okay? They're silly little guys. Yeah, I want to try and make those types of slimes and DP rather than the... Slime. Exactly! You get me, Emrys. You get me. Current d and slimes are boring. But yeah, yeah, I watched that. And it felt a lot longer than it actually was, apparently. My brain doesn't process episodes, apparently. It was also when I was re-watching My Hero. So maybe that's why my brain processed so many more than there actually was. I need to catch up on my hero. But yeah, no, I watched that entire thing, and I loved it. It was a good anime. I normally don't like anime anymore, but that one, yes. It's just a bunch of cute little slimes cleaning things. Cleaner slimes. 
I didn't actually know what it was called because when I watch something, unless if it's like something I get like very invested in, like to the point I watch it like 200 times, um, then I normally don't like process names. Yeah, me neither. I am now rich. Yeah, I can, and I'm going to in a minute. I just... And then I should have enough to go here and... What does the music do? The music, it helps them stay calm for longer. And now I'm just pretty much focusing on getting food to grow and getting money from slimes. That is my main focus now. Um, so that I can open the other things. Parrots still aren't grown, which is fine. That's still not grown. Okay, now we're just gonna... So many carrots. This is so good for this is so good for my buddies. Oh, this is so many passion fruit. Quite make it in. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay. I see kind of where I need to go. Hydrate. And stretch. Okay, but what is this thing? Okay, that scares me. <laughs> Fucking carrot. No, I want the stony hen. I want the new type of hen. I don't need normal hens right now. I'm going the wrong way, but I'm getting more carrots because of it. And more carrots means more money, so... Is this the right way? Yes. we run seriously not give me any more roosters? None of the chickens produced any roosters. Usually if you have at least two roosters, they'll produce at least one rooster. Well, that's bullshit. But it looks like I need to find more roosters. All of those guys are gonna die because it's daytime. But also, Brain is very focused on game and doesn't want to stop. Oh, 
I think we're gonna have to go on the hunt for a rooster. Because if we have these chickens, then we're gonna need a rooster. already been playing for over an hour. Oh my god. <laughs> Perception check to beloved. Anyway, Emrys, how are you? You're very uh, quiet. Alpha reading web comics about dragons. That's folk. <laughs> that is so fair. There you go. It's also a little bit bad, but I probably hit the bed. Mm hmm. Fair. And nobody likes you. I think I'm going to go on one more run to see if I can find a rooster, and then I'm probably also going to head off stream. Okay. I'm going to switch to call on my phone. Okay. Once I finish this chapter, I'm going to finish mm -hmm. this chapter of the comic, and then I'll switch over. Loot that body, loot that body. Hello. Hello. I found one rooster, but I'd like to find a few more. My hair switched to phone. I see, I see. Thank you. 
I'm so confused on why I'm having such a problem finding roosters and keeping roosters because in the past I've had a problem with too many roosters wanting to be born. I don't know. I don't know why I just tried to pull a Minecraft and hit the- what are you? Pretty. E. many cats over here. I don't know. Cat distribution system is failing. So true. Whoa. I was expecting it to give me a choice. It did not. Maybe I'll get more roosters over here. Only God knows. Do you have the ability to move people from BC? Um, I should. And if not, I'll just put out an announcement be like, hey, don't join Emerson's Epen. Oh shit, that guy wants to hurt me. They can join if they want. It will just be a snoring on the other end. <laughs> I, I do not believe people will be able to wake me up through a Discord call. <laughs> Probably not. I've tried, I've failed. Once I am asleep, I am asleep. <laughs> Emerson's yeah, just EP guys. They're an EP lad. We make chicken noodle soup tomorrow. Mm. And we gotta practice mother sauces. Tomorrow's schedule we have bechamel sauce. Alute sauce and Espanola. I've never heard of As, any of those. Uh, so, in general, any type of sauce you use, ah. most of most of them are a derivative of one of the five mother sauces. Mm-hmm. 
that will make up the majority of the sauces. But like, uh, bechamel is a white sauce. Mm -hmm. It is the of most white sauces. Mm -hmm. So like Alfredo is probably Alfredo is probably made with bechamel. Mm -hmm. I don't care because I haven't learned it that far. I'm a baking student, not culinary. Mm -hmm. uh, but... And then doing an Italian pasta sauce, chicken noodle soup, and rice pilaf. I don't have any carrots for you, but... Not to tell if you're out of time. I'm the one who's cutting you. Always on the run. Thank <laughs> you. 
Anyway, I'm gonna eat, save, not eat, eep, save, and quit. Chat, thank you for hanging out with me for stream today. I hope you all have a good night or good day, whatever time zone you're in. Good time zone. Emrys, thank you for hanging out with me today. Indeed. Well, perhaps do it more. And thank you for making me stream because I've been very. Uh... If you give us some general ideas of things to potentially stream, we can try to get you to stream more. Yeah. I used to stream actually me reading, which was real nice, but very dyslexic. So I was like, who. Uh... Um, and then the stuff about, um, Wilbur came out, and I was reading a, um, fic that heavily revolved around Wilbur, so I said, actually, nah, man. We mentioned before about the possibility of reading Brink. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I think I have someone to raid. Uh, we're gonna. I spelt that wrong. That yeah, we're gonna raid this person. I've never actually watched their streams before, but their TikTok content is real fun. 